In this video, we'll explore the hover typing feature introduced in iOS 18, designed in my opinion to enhance the typing experience for seniors, especially those with vision challenges. Hover typing displays the text you're typing in a large customizable window, making it easier to see and reducing the chance of errors. You can adjust the font style, size, and colors to suit your preferences, ensuring a comfortable typing experience. Let's dive in and learn how to set up and use this helpful feature. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. To use hover typing on your iPhone or iPad, first we'll need to turn on the hover typing feature in the settings app. So I'm inside the app library. I'm going to tap at the top and I'm going to search for settings. I'm going to tap on settings. Now I'm going to find accessibility and tap on that. Now I'll scroll down until I see accessories and tap on keyboards and typing. And at the very top, you'll see the hover typing feature. Tap on that and go ahead and toggle that switch on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe out of there and I'm going to locate the notes app. So I'll type in notes and you'll see as soon as I begin to do that, the hover typing feature appears above the keyboard in its default settings. I'll tap on notes. I'll tap on a new note. And as you can see, if I'm not typing, the hover typing feature is not being shown. But as soon as I begin to type, you'll see that the hover typing feature appears above the keyboard. The hover typing uh, feature works system-wide, so you can use it in messages, mail, anywhere would you, where you would have to type something. You'll see that if I tap on the return button at the bottom, the hover typing box goes away. And again, if I start to type, the box appears. If the box is blocking uh, a text field or something that you want to be able to see, if I just swipe it to the left, it hides it so that I'm able to see what's underneath. I can bring it back by typing, tapping on the arrow. I can also swipe it to the right to hide it. To customize the hover typing appearance, we're going to go back into the settings app. So you can see it here on my home screen. Your home screen may look different. So if you need to find it, come into the app library, tap at the top, start typing in settings, and then tap on settings to open it. Scroll down, tap on accessibility. Scroll until you see accessories, tap on keyboards and typing, and at the very top, tap on hover typing. These are all the figures, uh, features that you can customize. So if I tap on display mode, I can have it dock to the keyboard so it'll appear right above the keyboard or I can t uh, have it at the very top of the screen or in line if I want to. I'm just going to leave mine docked to the keyboard and I'm going to tap on the back button. Uh, the font size, if I tap on font size, you can choose any of the fonts that you want to use uh, for the hover typing feature. I'm just going to leave again, leave it at default. That seems to work best for me. I'm going to tap on the back button and let's go to the size. So I have turned it up quite a bit. You can turn it up even further so that the typing in the box is much larger. And if you ever want to reset the font size to the default, you can come down here and tap on it and it will resize that font back to the default settings. I'm going to tap on hover typing 
in the upper left. Here you can choose the text color that you want to use. You can choose the insertion point color, the background color. So I'll just go ahead and choose a different background color and I'll swipe out and let's go back to the notes app so you can see it and you'll see that the background color has changed. Let me get out of that and I'm going to swipe halfway up the screen. I'm going to come back into uh, the hover typing settings. I'll tap on the back button and so you can go through and change the border color, misspelled word colors. You can go in and customize this any way that you see fit for yourself, whatever your preferences are. If you find that you've made way too many changes and you're not sure what to do, go ahead and reset all of those changes by scrolling to the very bottom of the settings in the hover type feature and just tap on reset to default, tap on reset, and then everything is reset to the default settings. Maybe you don't want hover typing turned on all the time, and you might find it a pain to always have to go into the settings app to enable it. Well, there's an easier way to access the hover typing feature without entering the settings app every time you can add it to your accessibility shortcut. So if you don't know what that is, this is a great way to set up some features that you can access on a regular basis, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to come back into the Settings app, and right now you'll see it's turned on, but that's okay. I will open up the Settings app. I'm going to scroll and tap on accessibility. Then I'm going to scroll to the very bottom and you're going to see accessibility shortcut. And right now this feature is turned off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And then I'm going to locate hover typing and put a check mark next to hover typing. Now, I'm just going to scroll, you know, swipe out of that. Now, if I triple press on the iPhone or iPad's power button or on the, on the iPhone, they call it the side button. And on the iPad, it's the button at the top. If I triple push on that button, you'll see it says hover typing is now disabled. If I triple push again, now it says hover typing is enabled. So this is a very quick way inside of accessibility using the accessibility shortcut to access the hover typing feature when you want to, or you can also disable it. It's a triple push on the side or the power button. If the hover typing box won't show up even when it's enabled and you need to uh, troubleshoot a few things, here are some of the things you can try. You can come in to the hover typing settings in accessibility and toggle the switch on and off a few times and see if that helps to enable it. The next thing you can try is Swipe halfway up the screen and then close as many apps as you can. And then go back to the app that you were using hover typing with and start typing and see if that fixes it. And then as a last resort, go ahead and restart your iPhone or iPad. I was having a little bit of trouble earlier before I recorded this. And restarting my iPhone automatically brought back the hover type feature. So as a last resort, go ahead and restart your iPhone. Hover typing is a great tool to make typing easier and more comfortable for seniors, especially if you have trouble seeing small text. With its customization options and easy access, it's a simple way to improve your iPhone or iPad experience. Give it a try, and don't forget you can always adjust the settings to fit your needs. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.